two things I hate. One is my projects, not my projects, my client's project. And the second, you know, I could do great work if I didn't have a client. What a stupid statement that is. I think that's just dumb. I can do great work when I have a great client. So it's the collaboration between the two of us that makes such a difference. I'm Art Gensler. My company is Gensler. My location is San Francisco. You know, design is total or it's really nothing. Design to me is a really big picture attitude and you work to the smaller. But if you don't start with the broad context, how it's going to interact with your surroundings and interact with the people that are going to use it, then you really have something that's maybe beautiful, maybe very nice and maybe very dramatic. But it isn't solving the problems, the real problems that are out there. Design is an everyday interaction, and it's not just creating an object or a single thing. It is to have meaning. The whole aspect of work is now different than it was, and I think that's the challenge for all of us to understand where it might go. In the 60s and 70s, everybody built these campuses in remote suburbs. Now they want to come back to the city because they realize that the people want to live there and not commute. They want to be able to get to the, all the amenities that a city provides. And office design, workplace design, today, it isn't about ego, it isn't about status. I mean, when we started, it was traditional furniture and dark wood paneling, and, and it was all this frou-frou crap. It's really now about collaboration. How do we get people to collaborate and interact? And those that foster and support collaboration are financially more successful, business-wise more successful, and have happier employees. And with all the technology we have, and all the process, and all the tools, face-to-face -face interacting is where the real creative innovation comes from. I think great designers understand the limits and the power of design. I have a little picture on my wall about a rubber band. Good designers know how to stretch that rubber band, but not break it, because when you break it, you kind of lose everything. But if you stretch it, you get a lot of power out of it. And you go back, the next time you stretch again, it gets a little bigger. We believe that the everyday is evolving to be better. And we can be a part of that, making the world a little better place to work, live, and play. Design matters because it creates a better environment for everybody. Design does matter.